You can see here now with a little bit of reflection, we have some reflectivity on it. We see our texture behind it and we see some reflections on top of that. But the reflections obviously are really, really crisp, right? So it makes it look like it's a very glossy surface instead of kind of a rough surface with some reflectivity. That's where the other two settings that you need to know here come into play. On their glossiness, this is where we're going to specify the crispness and clarity of these reflections. The first one being here on the reflect, that one signifies that the reflections are going to be super clear, kind of like what you see there. If I take that number down, the reflections are going to start getting blurry, you know, kind of like the reflections on the surface of this mouse here. It's like there's reflection, but they're really blurred. So I'm going to make this reflection point eight for now do a preview to show you guys the difference so you can see now already right like those reflections are still there now but now they're blurry this reflection amount 0.8 i mean you can go down to 0 0.1 0 0.2 you know, etc. I can tell you the values that I typically use for wood and things of that nature, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. The aluminum's usually 0 0.5, and we'll go through it a little bit. But the other one, when you're dealing with reflection glossiness, it's these highlights. So the highlight right now is 1.0, but if we take that down, also let's say to point like 7, and do another preview, the areas that are brightest of the reflection, you can see they're getting blurrier. So again, it's another quick setting to start tweaking those materials to make them as realistic as possible. One thing to note is when we start taking the reflectivity crispness down into these blurry areas, and this material is hiding it pretty well, but what'll happen is the reflections become really grainy. And so you're going to have to increase the number of subdivisions within that texture. And so instead of subdivisions 8, you want to kind of up that up to 16 or 24 just to get a little less noisy of a result. As a good practice, usually up the subdivisions just to get a little bit better quality. But essentially, that's the gist of how to do that layer a little bit to kind of get us going.